So this is about the water cycle. Water gets evaporated from the earth due to the sun's heat. Then it goes into the air and collects. That's what you see as a cloud. And then when it collects to get big enough water particles, it'll fall back down to the earth, and that is what okay, rain- Okay, for this all to make sense, we need to figure out why water evaporates. I mean, when it gets hot, it's just like hot, right? Why does it float up into the air? Well, I'm glad you asked. Think about this pile of Lego shown right here is a bunch of molecules of water. Each Lego is one molecule. Now, did you know the sun's heat is actually going to separate the Legos, or the molecules of water? So as you can see, the molecules start to separate as they are. And once the molecules have started to separate so much, they start to float off because, I mean, let's be honest, one molecule weighs nothing, right? So it'll just basically float up into the air, like showing. So all of the Legos, or the molecules of water, start to disappear, and they just go and float up into the air. Now that all the molecules are in the air, let's go see what happens next. Okay, so when all of the water molecules float up f from the earth into the sky, they all go up and they all form and clump together. That is called condensation. All of those molecules of water are all together and that is what a cloud is. Now, when molecules basically like i said weigh nothing so they kind of just float around and sometimes they're so high that um they all are in the sky and they all clump together and once they gain a little bit of weight they start to pull back down to the earth because i mean once a hundred thousand of them of those tiny tiny molecules clump together um they'll actually start to weigh something and once they do they'll start to fall when they start to fall, that's called precipitation. Precipitation is rain, snow, sleet, or hail. And when it rains so much that the ground is saturated with water, when it rains even more, the water doesn't soak into the ground, and it runs off into the nearest lake or river. Infiltration and transportation are all parts of the water cycle as well.